It's bucket week. Practice is a little different this week, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit more intense, and uh, you know, all the seniors are looking forward to this game, and it's uh, it's been a great week overall. And you'll miss practice down the road, but uh, this week's a little different. No classes. Guys get a little tighter. Does that help you before you play your biggest rival on Saturday? Yeah, I think uh, most of the guys are pretty relaxed. I mean, no, you don't have to focus on class, and um, we get more time in the film room, and just we're all hanging out at the stadium all day. So I think it's pretty nice. Now looking at Purdue coming up on Saturday, you've been in the bucket game three years before this. Now it's your fourth one. What do you tell the guys that haven't been in as many situations that you have? What are the advice you give to the younger players? Uh, don't treat it like anything that, you know that's, that's impossible. I mean, I know there's a lot of hype around it, um, but really, I mean, it, it's, it's just another game. And do what you've do, been doing all season, and you know, you'll be fine. Is this one game, though, you want to be extra hype because it is Purdue? Yeah, I mean, you're going to be obviously, you know, hyped up a little bit more. But uh, once the, the first snap, I think you, you kind of get into your rhythm and um, just play as hard as you can. And wrapping up your senior year here, it's been a great career. What legacy do you hope to leave behind with Indiana football when you walk out those doors after you graduate? Uh, I just hope I can, set, you know, set a standard for the young guys as to how to how to go about your day-to-day -day process with, with everything and, um, you know, kind of – be somebody that they looked up to and um, you know that's all I can really ask for. Excellent.